What is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Tripp, and welcome to Dash to Shoot, my weekly episode show where I talk about what's going on in the world of professional wrestling. Uh, I know I said weekly and I was off this past week, but even sometimes I need to take a vacation, need to take a t- some time off. Everybody else does it. Why shouldn't I? So I took a week off last week, and there was some big news over that past week, wasn't there? There was... You know, a lot of big things happening, right? So, we're going to talk about a few of them in just a second. Um, but before we do, do, I do want to give my thoughts to um, the, the, the family and friends of Jim Crockett Jr. who passed away this uh, this week. Um, Jim Crockett Jr. was obviously the son of Jim Crockett. Jim Crockett Promotions, this turned into WCW, and went ahead and head against Vince McMahon and the WWF for years. Um, you know, Jim Cornette, I listen, I listen to his podcast, often listen to both the drive through in their experience. He talked about it. He mentioned um, a couple times that if Jim Crockett Promotions didn't go out of business, if Jim, Cro- Jim Crockett Jr. didn't, you know, sell to TBS, uh, that Jim, that, that he would have stayed there forever. He would have stayed with Jim Crockett forever, and then he would probably even be there to this day if they were still, if they were still around. So, um, you know, Jim loves that old type of old school Southern wrestling, uh, and uh, a lot, of, a, a lot of people have have loved that. You know, it's the reason why FTR, such a, you know, that's what they grew up on. Both, I think, both guys from North, being from North Carolina, that's what they grew up on. So. Um, yeah, let's just start that off. Sending my thoughts out to the family of Jim Crockett Jr. A, a, a trailblazer without a doubt. So we've got to get to Miz and Lashley and the stuff going on around with them. We've got to get on to Sasha Banks and Bailey and why some people want them to be the main event of one of the WrestleManias. I don't get it. Actually, I do get it, but I, I, do, I, I don't. It, it can't happen, in my opinion. But we're going to start off with probably the biggest thing that happened in this past couple of weeks. Paul White, the big show, formerly the big show, I guess you could say, is now all elite. And this is, this is a shocker. This is a shocker to me. This is a shocker to a lot of people. People thought big show Paul White was a WWE lifer. That, that, that he would have been there, you know, for a lifetime. You know, this, he, he's... He is who he is because of that, and uh, because of WWE, and to see him jump to All Elite, he even said it uh, uh, Wednesday. You know, who saw that? Saw this turn coming. It, it's 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 it, it, it is it is shocking. It really is. And I know I, I know some people see this as like, you know. You know, you know, they, they they see this as, you know, you know, WWE losing people that are, you know, you know, that they should be lifers. Why why are WWE lifers, you know, you know, or why are people who are leaving WWE? You know, Chris Jack apparently may say something about it, I guess that he feel like WWE mis- mistreated Big Show and mistreated Sting, so that's why they are in AEW. And listen, I, I, I don't think that's that's the case. You know, I think, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, in the case of Sting, you know, you know, he wanted to continue to wrestle. The the doctors in WWE were not were not going to clear him to wrestle. You know, now as we as we've seen with Daniel Bryan and as we have seen with Edge, you know, Christian got. Clear to do a rumble. Paige is trying to get cleared. Um, I think maybe even Corey Graves has a kind of a thought to see if, if he can get cleared. Uh, he mentioned that one time before that you know seeing seeing what Edge has gone through is gives him hope. You know, of course that's Samoa Joe as well. Well, so Steam could have been cleared. In fact, there's even something uh, a rumor out there that Steam has been cleared for years. Yes, that's been that's been cleared for years to the thing, 
but maybe just w, you know maybe you know WWE didn't, didn't he didn't tell WWE or WWE didn't use or didn't you know you know what wasn't going to clear him because guy was having to Dan Bryan. <coughs> Dan Bryan, excuse me. Dan Bryan was was cleared by two or three doctors, but not was not but was not cleared by the WWE's doctors. So maybe Sting was cleared by doctors, but not cleared by the WWE's doctors. So either way you have it, 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 it is you know, I I, 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 I do I, I do I find it sad. I find it sad that guys like Big Show uh, and by the way, Sting have to go to AEW. They can't stay with WWE because I, 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 I just think that you know, for what, whatever you say, Will with with Will with uh, WWE and how they use legends and, and everything like that, AEW hasn't been no better. AEW has been no better. You know what they have, which what they've done with Sting since he's been there. Is is it's it's not been good. To be very honest, it's not been good. The, the first night was a surprise. The winter is coming. It was a surprise. But ever since then, it's been jack shit. And things like that. And now they're gonna use Paul White. He's going. He he has a wrestling license, so he'll be able to wrestle every now and then. But he's mainly gonna be doing a kind of commentary gig. So what did it? You know. WWE didn't want you know we get done the commentary dig gig in WWE. Is that what you wanted, or did you want to continue to be, you know, so yeah, I think it was more of a money dig. He get more money to do, you know, in AEW. It was totally just a money grab in there. So, so yeah, so, so for me, Paul White jumping to AEW, it's a sad thing. Now he made it. Now Paul. Made a announcement on uh, on Dynamite that a Hall of Fame worthy um, player uh, was going to sign with AEW Sunday, uh, and of course this has got people going crazy. Who could it be? You know, they're thinking, they're thinking Kurt Angle, and they're thinking you know Brock Lesnar, CM Punk, all the usuals, right? All the usuals. Although CM Punk has come out and said, no, it's not, it's not me. Um, so it, it, it's it's going to be interesting to see um, who it is. I have a feeling it's going to end up being somebody that you know it's not it's not it's not going to be somebody that um, that people um, are going to be okay with. It's not going to be any of the names that people say. There's also names about Christian. It would be Christian be be signing back, you know, with that. But I don't know. I, I think Christian is. Still hanging with uh, WWE. I don't think only he's going to return on on WWE because when Edge is now back and he can do so much stuff because if Christian is cleared. He can now do matches. You do a match with Edge and, and maybe even more matches with Edge. Maybe Edge, Edge and Christian E and C come back. So I don't think he's going to jump to AEW. So yeah, so I'm not sure who it's going to be. Uh, I'm not going to make any guesses. Um, who it is. I'll find out when everybody else finds out. Uh, as, as most of you know, I do not watch the um, pay per views from AEW as of right now. Um, this is this money situation, so I don't have the money to be able to buy to be buying pay per views um, from them. Again, my 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 ideal situation would be is that next year, for next year's. Revolution. I would be making the income to where I could, uh, I could by the pay per view, and I would be able to, and so that this episode of that to shoot would be actually the AEW Revolution predictions. So, you know, so, but that's neither here nor there. Unfortunately, right now, still broke. Patreon.com says AJ Trip. If you want to change that, so Bianca Belair won the Women's Raw Rumble. And here she had to make a choice: select the Raw Women's Champion Oscar or the SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks at WrestleMania. She made her decision last Friday. It was going to be Sasha Banks and at WrestleMania. It will be Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair in a match at WrestleMania. Now, there's a lot of history here. This is the first time 
we're going to have two African Americans go one on one for a heavyweight championship. This is the, uh, you know, so it, 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 this is the first two American women, I believe, as well. Because I believe even when, when Jacqueline was the women's champion and when Layla was like the women's champion, um, I don't think they were, uh, I don't think they ever had one on one matches with other African American women if there were even any uh, Zen at that time. Although you could also maybe say Layla was a, she was a British, she was British. So she, she wasn't. She was African American. She was actually. She, she was just. She was just well, British. I mean, she didn't even say African American anyway. She'd be the same black. It's two black women. Yeah, we see because when you, when you, when you talk about African American, that's, that's what you get, right? African American, just you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching Young Rock. Rocky Johnson was actually Canadian. So he, so he wasn't African American. He was actually African. He was African Canadian. But it's just black. That's that, that's why it's just better to say black. You're black. Um, yeah. So two black. Um, two, uh, you know. Uh, 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 so that, uh, yeah. That, so there's a lot of history there, uh, and so because of that, and also because there's two black women, a lot of people want this match to be because there's two nights. They want this match to be ma the main event of night one at a WrestleMania, right? Um, and have Edge and Roman be the main event of night two. But see, I, I see, I, I disagree. See, I, I disagree, and it's not because I have anything against you know these two women making history, any two against you know blanks or. You know, um, Banks or uh, Bella personally. Uh, uh, some of you guys may know, some of you guys may know. I'm not necessarily personally the big fan of Sasha Banks. I think, you know, especially after watching the 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 Stone Cold thing, uh, Stone Cold Broken Sessions, I think she's a very arrogant person, and I think she she needs to be humbled a little bit. Unfortunately, Vince McMahon did not help her get humbled when she you know took that you know thing you know. You know Vince gave her 30 days. She took three months to get over it, and he, sh he should have cut her because she she got she she thinks way too highly of herself, and, and not and not just an act. She thinks way too highly of herself. Um, that being said, uh, her talent in the ring is amazing. Uh, she's one of the best in the world at what she does. Without question, botches you know aside, because she does sometimes botch a lot. Um. Yes, but yeah, she's she's one of the best, and I, I, I and that would be truly be something special to see. They could they could put on a spectacular match. Uh, I I think there's no doubt about it. Um. But I I, I think that especially especially if they're gonna go down a road of either Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre or Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar. That match is much more bigger and much more worthy of being, the, you know, being a main event. I, I, I would, I would hate to have this night be, to be this year's WrestleMania be one night. This is one of the reasons why they really need to buy. They need to buy next year, the WrestleMania in Dallas. They need to, they need to, to, to unify the championships. They really do, in my opinion. They really do, because. There, Bobby Lashley right now is doing some really, really good stuff, and we'll talk about Bobby Lashley in a minute. And he's really good stuff, and then if they and if they're going to do either match, it's main event worthy. It should be put on last, and you have you have two nights you can do that. And some would say that the WWE Championship should always be on last because it's the WWE Championship. It's the it's the number one championship in that company. And I don't care that I don't care that the universal title has been created and it's been held by Roman Reigns right now. That doesn't matter. The WWE Championship is the number one is the number one title, and whoever holds that is the, is the face of the company. It's been Drew McIntyre for so long, and now you have Bobby Lashley holding it. And Bobby Lashley, and it should be the main event. And even, you can even argue that 
Roman and Edge could go on night night one, and then Bobby and Drew could go on night two. Yes. Then, there, then there's even an argument of, you know, since you have two nights, maybe you even do, we have one night be the Raw, all of the Raw matches, and one night be all of the SmackDown matches. So guess what? You expect Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair to to main event over uh, Roman Reigns and Edge? No. No, they can't be. All right, listen. I understand how historic that would be. I understand the history and everything like that. And they can make and they can make history going on second to last. Either night, they can make make history going on second to last. But the main events of night one and night two should be Roman Reigns versus Edge for the Universal Championship, or yeah, uh, uh, and it should be the WWE Championship, Bobby Lashley against whoever the championship is. So, like I said, they can go on a second from last. And you know what? You know what I would do? You know, yeah, go on a second from last. But take those 20 minutes that you get and kill it. And I know Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks can. I have all the belief in the world that they can. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. As you should. But. It's right, let, let, let's make it be hindsight 2020. Then saying that. Um, you, know, you know, saying that, you know, putting them on as the main event and them not doing what they, you know, what, what, what we think they could do. Because let's face it, it could also fail. It could also fail. Bianca Belair is still very young in her, you know, in, in her thing. She's going to, you know, put her out there. The main event, you know, and who knows if Sasha, you know, Sasha, she's main event, so she may, she, you know, something like that. And then who knows? Who knows if they even have the chemistry to make a, to make a good match? You know? We, we think it's going to be a good match. But who knows if they have the chemistry to do so, so. I think the safe bet, the, the, the two champ, the two men, top men's championships, the WWE Championship and Universal Championship, go on last each night. Sorry, the Miz cashes in the Money Bank contract with the help of Bobby Lashley at the Elimination Chamber. Two weeks later, Bobby Lashley destroys the Miz to become. WWE Champion, the third black champion in history behind Kofi Kingston and The Rock. And I had so many I had so many conversations that night because people, because you were seeing everything. You were seeing you know, first of all there were a lot of stuff. Some people saying he was the fifth black champion. I think, I think, are they counting Mark Henry and Booker T? In this as well, well, he's a full black heavyweight champion. Are he doing that? And then there were the ones where you were saying he was the second black champion, and they wasn't counting The Rock as being black because he's half black. And I, I got so upset, I said something that I shouldn't have said on Twitter. The guy probably reported me, and I got I get banned for twelve hours on Twitter for for, for, for what I told him to do. I told him to go jump off a cliff. So. And in fact, even here on my, you know, my own channel, you know, somebody was, you know, uh, I, I did a video. Who's the real first black champion? I'm saying in the video, it was The Rock. Yeah, somebody jumped there. You know, he's being a moron, saying that the, the blocks not have, the rocks not have black. The rocks not black because he's not 100 percent black. You know, I, 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 <laughs> I, I got to be careful what I think. I don't want to be. Band here on YouTube, but I, but I think I'm okay. But if, if you feel that way, like like truly, like you're a racist. I don't care, I don't care. You know, being black and everything like that, and that's something that you know. That reminds me of something like this. Need to talk about that. But um, like you're you're a moron. Like don't you know you know. Barack is half black. Means he's black. 
And I, the, 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 um, the example I always use is, is Obama, right? Obama's half black, half white. Uh, so that makes him, but he, he was the first black president. You know, and, and even said this, someone on Twitter was going at me, was saying, well, blocking the rock, the, um, Barack embraces black culture, and the rock doesn't. That, that, so what? So what, the rock is still black? I don't care if he embraces black culture. He, he gives some other things. And I, you know, he said that, you know, Paul Abdul is half black, half white, doesn't consider himself black, consider himself white. And Tracy Ellis, Tracy Ellis Ross from Blackish doesn't consider herself, she considers herself black even though she's half black and half white, she's biracial. Right? And, you know, and, and, and I, I gave him the thing of Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz is half black, half Puerto Rican. With Victor Cruz, the former football player in the New York Giants, when he was to do the sa salsa when, uh, when he scored a touchdown. He do the salsa. Yeah, it's salsa. Um... In all these situations, all these people are black. It doesn't. Now, I can, I can, I can understand. You know, maybe if you're Paul Abdul and you're lighter skinned, right? You're you're light skinned, and and you are, you know, so and, and maybe so you don't, you know, and you're white passing, right? As they like to say. So and, and, and so so you haven't had some of the things that have happened to you. That have happened to. Tracy Ellis Ross, who is obviously she's like my complexion, or maybe even lighter, um, someone like that, or someone like The Rock, who maybe you know, you know, she grew up more around the Samoans than he did, the, you know, you know, black people, which was his father, you know, you know, and we're finding out a lot about that with his uh, with his show, Young Rock. You know, so maybe he grew up more around the Samoans, so he feels more ingratiated into the Samoan culture and Samoan heritage. He gets all of the Samoan tattoos, right? Roman Rangers, though. I think, I think Roman Rangers have Samoan half white, but he and he got the, the Samoan stuff as well. So all, so all, all of that, all of that can be, all of that can be true. You can have grown up, you know. Maybe it's, it's more on one side, but that doesn't mean that that that, you, that you're still not that that other half, right? And I, I know this is long way from last in the mess, but I, I, I just why why I have this, I just need to tell you about this. And then we'll get to them. So so just to, you know, just because that you know maybe you know Rock sees maybe says. I'm growing. I'm more. I, I, I talk more about Samoa because I've been around more. I've been around Samoans more. more. I grew up. I grew up on Hawaii and everything like that. So I, I was more with Samoans than I was with black people. I didn't grow in, around the hood with black people, things like that. But that doesn't mean it's not black. And if you want to go here, you know, he, you know, I can guarantee you that the Rock went. The when the Rock gets pulled over, you know, in, in you know, in, in cars, he's not, he, you know, you know, he, you know, you know, he's not thinking, well, they're gonna, you know, you know, <laughs> you know they're gonna know I'm Samoan. No, he might, be, he, he might be worried about being, damn, he might have pulled me over because I was black. This might be a DWD driving my black. So, I, you know. It's, that's, that's just a long thing and everything like that. But anyway, back to Lashley. He's a WWE, WWE champion. So what is his goal for Lashley in the midst? Now there was a lot of us, myself included, very happy for me as winning the WWE championship. I think many of us knew that this was going to be the way it was, right? That this was going to be a transitional thing. He would, it was, it was more than likely going to be a transitional thing. He was transitioning it to Lashley. It could have been where it wasn't a transitional thing. It was just a switch, for, for just, for, just a switch, right? Just to get the title, just, just to end the Money in the Bank contract and put the title on the Miz. Then he could have given Drew up the back to, to Drew McIntyre. Um... No, we thought that was a transitional thing that he was going to last. Yeah, I think some of us, even though there was a lot of people wanted Miz to have a run, 
I think there were many of us that were we were just happy to see him win the title again. Um, and that's good. And, that, and it's good to what it happened. Um, now, I think where Miz goes from here is, is, is important, I think. I think it's important. Because I think one, one of the criticisms that people had with, with Miz winning this was that the way he had been booked for the past year. Ever since John Morrison came back, he had been pretty much been booked as this goofball comedy character. You know, there had been you know things written that he had he had won he had won three singles matches since uh, February of 2020. Three he had won three singles matches. Um, obviously, he looked like a comedy character, looked like a goofball, especially like when there's Drew McIntyre and everything like that. So that's why a lot of people were just. They were, they were not really, they were against this, and they claim that they didn't, they didn't, they don't hate the Miz, they just hated, they hated it because, you know, the way that it was booked. Now, I, 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 I to me, the way that some people talk, they hate the Miz. <laughs> the way that some people talk, it, it's not that they hated the way this was booked, they hate the Miz, and they don't like this. When you talk about him being 10 years you know, you know, him being the same character for ten years, which he hasn't been. No, this is you hating the Miz. This is not you hating, you know, how this was booked. No, it isn't. But with that being said, that is, you know, for those who, those people who, who I, who I believe did have that criticism, and I really, really believe that, that you know, something like that. I, I think, I think that is a fair criticism, and I think that needs to change. I do. Um, this, this right here, this, what this should have, this should have, this should fuel the Miz. This should fuel the Miz. The Miz should, you know, he, he is going, you know, there's going to be other things, you know, he, he should no longer be talking about hey, hey, and, and ho, ho, and, and anything like that with Morrison. Excuse me. I get a good bit of water. Uh, th this, this should not be, you no, know, he should not be, you no, know, you no, know, anything like that. He should not be doing things like he should not, he should, he should not be goofball mares anymore. This needs to be serious mares. He, he, you know, he. This, this needs to be a dude who is dangerous now. You've pissed him off, and this is dangerous. And. I think I, th I think this should be one part of it. This should not be. This should be one part of it, right? I think the next part of it needs to be the stuff with Bad Bunny and and Damian Priest. That seems to be the way they're going. That's going to be the WrestleMania match: the Miz and Morrison versus you know Bad Bunny and this. This needs to be that the fact that the Miz is he is inanely upset at the fact that he was the WWE champion. And now he is on WrestleMania in a match with some with some dickhead <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm not calling back, but I'm, I'm saying what the Miz would say. Some, some dickhead rapper and some you know Clown as phony archer of infamy, right? For these two guys, that should be strike two. And then, then I think I think of course he should lose, right? He should lose. I think I think that, um, or I don't think that he should lose. Maybe what should happen is, is Morrison should take the pin, right? Morrison should take the pin from Bad Bunny. Causing, you know, causing Miz to lose, and then that should be the third, the, the strike three, that causes the Miz to truly snap, and he absolutely turns on Morrison at WrestleMania after the match, you know, goes after the leg, tears the leg up, puts him in the figure four, does whatever, and we have a new 
more effective men's, more calculating, more everything like that, more men's. It's, it's time for chicken shit men's to, dis, to dissipate. At WrestleMania, chicken shit men's dissipates and calculating, diabolic men's comes around. And it's time for him and then he can have a feud with Morrison for several months and then time to put the men's back in the title picture. That way it belongs. I would love to see the Miz get one more shot with either title, the the WWE or the Universal title. It's gonna be hard because I think because I, I think Roman Reigns should, should should be holding on to the top title for a long time. I I really do. Uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna do at WrestleMania, but it could be one of those things where where they, where they give it to Edge. But maybe you know Roman will get it back pretty quickly. So I'm not sure, but I I, I think Roman Reigns, this, you know, he should be holding. He should be holding the Universal Title for a long time, unified with the WWE Championship, and then hold it for another hold and hold that hold the Unified Title for a long time. But. Yeah, I think Miz needs to be bought by the chicken shit and again chicken shit Miz needs to go away. This is you know, you want to talk about ten years ten him being the same character for ten years? Well now Okay. If you think that, that's fine. You're wrong, but that's fine. Watch this character change and with him become an even more devastating person and a more dangerous person in WWE than ever before. I think that's the way Miz needs to go. As for Bobby Lashley, I think Bobby Lashley, you know, you know, depending on what happens, I think, I, I think Bobby Lashley should hold on to the championship. I think he should hold. He should be a dominant champion. I think Bobby Lashley should, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're doing it fast lane. It, it could be a rematch with Miz. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I do think it's going to be Drew versus Bobby and Manny. I think Bobby Lashley should. Should win there. I think. You know, I think Bobby. I think there's gonna be. I think you could be. I think there could be a face turn for AJ. You know, maybe something like that, or something like that. Maybe, or maybe not. Who knows? But I think there's there are other ways to be. You know, you know, find a way. It shouldn't just be like a match after match after match with Drew. You know, with uh, with Drew. That, that's what that's what that should be. I mean, that's is. Build some people up, or even in that, build some people up. Let's just give other people shots, right? Uh, not not Goldberg. Although it would be interesting to see Goldberg versus Bobby Lashley WrestleMania win it. That's one thing we haven't thought of: Goldberg versus Bobby Lashley WrestleMania. I would love to see that. I would love to. I would love to see. I would love to see Goldberg and Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania, and Goldberg wins. <laughs> that would be, that's what y'all would get for wanting the Miz to not be a, a transitional champion. Fuck y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, but I, I think I think I would like to probably lastly hold it until SummerSlam, maybe even hold it until Survivor Series. You know, how, how good of a match would that be? Roman Reigns, Universal Champion versus Bobby Lashley, WWE Champion, both being so dominant. Both in unifying the championships. That is what would be awesome. I, 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 I that's what I want to see. That's and that's why I hope they go with it. Uh, and I hope I, I hope they continue with that. That if they do go to rate where this is just to get Drew McIntyre a a a a a, a pop at WrestleMania with, with fireworks and everything like that. Okay, that's cool, but. I think he needs to lose. Uh, he we quickly need to lose it back to Bobby Lashley within a couple months or so. Because Bobby Lashley has been on a total roll. I think he does. He does someone who deserves a long run. Not only does Miz des deserve it, but Bobby Lashley also deserves it as well. You know, the way I said was that Miz, like when they, like when they cashed in, when he cashed in at TLC, he should have won the title then. You know, then then then, then he could have had. You know, the a Royal Rumble match, you could have had the Elimination match, chicken shit victories, and I uh, you know, you know, chicken victories in those matches, and then Bobby Lashley could have won the Chamber, 
and then you could have had this match and the same thing, and it would have been over. And, and it would it would have been really really good. You know, he he chicken shit his he chicken shit his way to win at the Royal Rumble, even once it gets Goldberg, chicken shit his way to beat Drew McIntyre at at at, at, at Elimination Chamber. But he wasn't gonna chicken shit his way out of winning against a match against Bobby Lashley, even you know, the Lumberjacks. That would that would that would have told a great story, but they just yeah, whatever. But um, yeah, again, I, I think that's where you need to go. The Miz needs to come become a more diabolical, more dangerous, more calculated heel character. And Bobby Lashley just needs to, I think, to be a, a dominant, forceful champion. You know, for at, for at least to SummerSlam, maybe at most until uh, Survivor Series. Okay, folks, that's going to be it this week for That to Shoot. Post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think about any of the topics. Paul White, the AEW, who is the Hall of Fame worthy person who is going to be appearing at Revolution? Sasha Banks. Bianca Belair, main event at WrestleMania. What do you think? And then, of course, where does The Miz and Lashley go from here? Give me your thoughts on that as well. All three or just one of them? Your pick. Post them down in the comment section. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to go to patreon.com slash AJ to become a patron. Once I hit a certain amount of patrons, you will be able to determine what you can see here on my YouTube channel, what video games I play on my uh, Twitch channel, and what I talk about on my podcast. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.